Tab Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be doing a video. It's going to be both in version 1 code, version 2 code. We'll, you know, demo it in both just so you can see the differences. And we're going to be talking about how to check if you have an internet connection. So this actually came from a user, I forget the name, uh, but he asked a great uh, question on one of my other videos about how to send emails or text messages using AutoHotKey. But what happens if your script's running and it gets to that section and you don't have an internet connection, it is going to throw in error and that could be a problem. So what you want to do is have it uh, with like an error check kind of thing, see if you are connected to the internet. Obviously, you can use this in a bunch of different ways, but for the sake of this video, we're just going off that last video where we're saying, hey, we need to send an email. Oh, wait, there's no internet connection? Well, maybe instead of trying to, you know, time out or keep trying or, you know, get in the air, we wanted to go ahead and do something else. Maybe a message box saying, hey, please connect to the internet and then push continue. And then maybe it'll loop back around and, you know, try again. So yeah, there's a lot of different uses for this, but I thought it was a great idea. So shout out to him for the video idea. I forget his username. I apologize, but hopefully he'll see this and know who he is. So yeah, let's uh, let's take a look at that code, shall we? So we're going to jump back here real quick to version 1. So as you see, I am using requires. Um, basically, that's just saying, because I have both version 1 and version 2 installed on my computer, uh, this is just going to be an easy way to make sure it does it automatically, but sometimes it can be a little iffy if the code would still work with one and two. It might just default to one, but this is going to make sure that we are getting what we want. So we're just doing, you know, the hash down, the pound, you know, whatever you guys want to call this based on your generation, basically. Uh, requires auto hotkey v1.1 point point plus just means anything above v1.1. So anything above that, you know, you can change this to however you want. If you want a very specific version to run, for some reason you have multiple versions of version 1 on there. You want this one to run with that one, the other one to run with that one. Whatever, to each his own. We're going to be using the hotkey F1 here, obviously. You know, change that to whatever you want. So first of all, the we're going to be doing a, a variable here. It's just info got. Uh, we're doing a URL download to variable. I've done a video on that, so I'm not going to dive too much into it. And we're just using Google for this example. Uh, you can use any website. I just I think a major website is going to be better, like Google, because if I were to let's say use my personal TabNation website, TabNationCoding.com, the problem here could be that you know maybe I'm doing maintenance on my thing, or I forgot to pay my bill that month. And so they take my website down or something. It's just going to throw it thinking you're not connected to the internet because it can't find that website. It's going to air out. Uh, you know, so it could at least. Um, so it's best to probably just use you know a major website that pretty much never goes down. So Google is a great choice for that one. We got our little ifs and else here. So uh, if info got uh, meaning that it actually has some type of data in this variable. Um, it's going to go ahead and say, you know, hey, there is information. This variable does exist. Uh, message box, you has the internet. Obviously, right here with this message boxes uh, is going to be your code where you would say, okay, we are connected to the internet. Then you're going to use the stuff from that previous video uh, here to send the email. Uh, then else, meaning, hey, this variable doesn't exist it wasn't able to get anything um, so then we're just gonna say message box no internet once again obviously this is where you're gonna put your code that hey if I don't have internet do this instead or give me a message box saying continue and then maybe do like a, a go to back up to the beginning to start it over or reload whatever you want you know better than me we're just using simple message box here to get the point through Next, uh, and, you know, usually you're going to want to, you know, put a return, just throw that in there. So this is our function down here that's really doing all the work. Um, so we're just uh, right here, you see it's calling upon the function down here. This is the URL that's being saved and sent down here. Um, so we're going to be doing com object error false. 
basically saying if something goes wrong, obviously we're just going to basically it's going to display no message box because this failed. Um, so this is kind of error handling there. Um, that's only going to be in version 1. In version 2, it is going to be slightly different uh, than in version 1. I mean, you can still do it the same way, but I'm trying to show you different options also, so you can adjust to how, whatever one you like better. But I'm using this one for version 1 just to show you, because this did become obsolete in version 2. Uh, web request, uh, I've done videos on this. This is just kind of, like I said, getting all the information and sending the request. Then it's going to return, you know, what it got, you know, the response text, uh, the web request up here. That's what it's all doing, yada, yada. Don't really need to explain that. Once again, done a video on that, so I'm not diving too deep into that. Plus, you're really not going to need to change any of this stuff down here in this function unless you want to change, like, the name of the function. Just make sure you change it up here, and that's really about it. So we're going to go ahead, test this one, and then we're going to jump into version 2 and show you that. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the script here. Let's make sure I don't have any other scripts running, which I do. There we go. All right, so it's up and running. I'm going to go ahead. I am connected to the Internet right now, and I'm going to push F1. And there you go. You has the internet. So, real quick, I'm going to go slightly off screen and just unplug the ethernet cord from the back of my computer real quick. All right. So I just uh, pulled it out there. And I'm going to go ahead and push F1. And look at that. No internet. Going to go ahead and plug it back in. All right. Plug back in, F1 again, and boom, you has the internet. So as you see, you know, it, it only took me like two seconds to lean over, plug it in. So, you know, it, it's pretty fast at recognizing the change. Um, just because, you know, as long as it's connected, it's pretty much instant knowledge, I guess, to you could say. I don't know how to word it. All right, version 2 HK. Let's close out the version 1 and version 2. Actually, let me show you something real quick. Let me relaunch the version 1 code. If you go down into the bottom of the tray, right-click on the AHK script icon. I know it's a little bit off-screen. Click the open thing on the uh, pop-up. You get this, and as you can see right here, uh, hopefully you can see it in the video, but uh, take my word for it if you can't. At the end, it says AutoHockey V1.1.33.09. So it's actually showing, hey, you know, that requires work. It found, you know, that version that it wanted to run with. And, uh, yeah, so that way we can see that, yes, this is indeed doing what it's supposed to. It's running the version 1. And then if I go over and launch the version 2 code, we'll go ahead and get that running. You can do the same thing. Right-click on that icon. Click Open. And as you see right here, we got auto hotkey v2.0.2. So it is running in version 2. Now, not going to, you know, re-explain everything. Just going to show you the differences. Obviously, up here, we're saying run v yeah, version 2 and anything higher. Just version 2, anything that we got. Go for it. Same thing with a lot of this stuff. The biggest differences are everything is a function now in version 2. So, for the most part, this code right here is mostly the same. The only difference is, is we're adding the curly brackets at the beginning and the ending of this. And with our message box, we're just putting uh, quotations at the beginning and the end of the string. So, it knows it's not a variable. We want it to actually display, you know, what we typed here. Down here, uh, once again, you know, pretty much all this is the same. Uh, we are adding some parentheses at the end here. And we're going to be using, because in here, you know, we were using this way of doing it. We're going to do something a little different here just to show you some variety. We're doing a try and catch. So the try, you put it in curly brackets, put what we already had in version 1 here, plus the parentheses. And then we're going to do a catch. So it's going to try to do this, but if we don't have internet connection, it can't really do it. So then it's going to catch that. And uh, we're going to put curly brackets here. Here's the end of the whole function. Now, right here, as you see, there's nothing here. There's just the two curly brackets really not doing anything. Let me make this a little bit more organized for visual uh, effect. There's nothing here, right? So it's going to go up here. You know, it's going to say if it got, you know, it's going to display this, it's going to display that, just like in the other one. But something else we could do if you really want, you could just delete this whole else 
and then put the uh, no internet message box here. You could do that too, but I like having the message boxes in the same place. So that way if I edit this, boom, it's really easy to edit this to say something different or whatever action you're performing with your code. That's just my preference. You can put the air stuff down here, uh, you know, whatever you want to do. Like I said, to each his own, whatever. All right, let's go ahead and see this one in action. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely do. I'm throwing out one, two, three videos every week about automating your job gaming, personal life, whatever you want to automate. 90% of my channel is in auto hotkeys, but I do venture out because I hope you guys want to learn other stuff. Uh, so yeah, hit that like button. and lets me know what kind of videos you like uh, so I can do more of them. All right, F1, we got the script running. We already saw that it was in version two. You has the internet. Let's unplug. All right, have a little difficulty on that one. F1 again, no internet, and just for the heck of it, plug back in. Bada bing, bada boom, F1, you has the internet again. Good thing I don't need internet to record videos, because then this video would have been very difficult, so... Yeah, thank you OBS for not requiring a internet connection like those stupid video games out there that are single player, but for some reason still need an internet connection. I hate you guys. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all on the next one.